I'm Edwin Stackhouse and welcome to the first installment of Carp Culture. Just to the right of me lies the tidal section of the Connecticut River, home to some of the hardest fighting carp in New England and one of the best natural carp fisheries in the country. Now I've already had a walk up and down these old abandoned train tracks here and I've managed to find a place to get in, but since I'm pressured for time, I already brought the kit down, started to get set up. I haven't seen any fish show, but let's get down there so I can introduce some bait into the water, flick the rods out and see what happens. First fish into the session, weighing 19.9 pounds. Definitely off to a good start. The rods have only been out for about 20 minutes and my left hand rod just went into a complete meltdown. So I've seen a uh, few fish begin to show. So I'm gonna get this one back and go through with you guys the baits and the rigs that I've been using. The rig that I'm using is very simple, it's strong, and it's reliable. And that's what's most important when fishing a large, moving body of water, such as the Connecticut River. And here it is. It's a simple blowback rig tied with Fox Camotec Soft and 25 pound. Coming down, I have a Corda Captor Wide Gape and a size six with a Corda Kicker and a bit of silicone just to, to uh, trap the hair in place. Coming up about an inch, inch and a half, I have a large pop-up weight, and that's just to help keep the rig pinned down on the riverbed there's quite a strong current out here and that's why I'm using a five ounce inline pair gripper. Coming down to the bait, I'm using a cell sinking dumbbell. And on top of that, I have one of the micro cell pop-ups and that's rigged vertically. So that's gonna sit just like that. And that's just gonna be a visual beacon for the carp. sent this rod out about 15 minutes ago and it was absolutely screaming. So I'm trying to keep him away from my other lines. He is not done yet. I'm gonna try and pull him the other way. He's wiped out one of my rods. Try and pull him back. Worry about that later.
Here we are with another beautiful common, 16 pounds. Managed to wipe out one of my rods, but that's more than okay. So let's slip this one back and uh, fire that rod back out there. Now I briefly want to show you guys the ground bait that I'm using and how I'm actually applying it to my fishing. And it's the high impact ground bait from Mainline. This one is uh, the Cell. I think it goes without saying that Cell has just become a legendary bait all over the world. And uh, I have some of that in a bucket. Now all I'm doing is I'm adding some oats to that just to cut it back and um, help it with binding together. So all I'm doing is adding a little bit of water and then mixed in with that. I'm using the mainline particle and pellet syrup. This one is the condensed coconut milk. So I'll get some of that in there. And I'll mix that all together, become nice and sticky. And what I'm actually doing is I'm taking this method mix and I'm molding it around the inline lead. And I'll stick the hook right into the back of the method ball to help prevent it tangling on the cast. And that's pretty much it. He's got a lot of fight in him. That is a fantail, no way! I'm letting this one do what it wants. I think I've got it pretty nailed, so I'm not worrying about it falling off, but definitely want to play this one carefully. These are far and few between. We're moving on into the evening hours of the session. The rod's been pretty quiet for the last couple of hours. I had a drop back. I picked it up. And I was blessed with this absolute gem of a fantail. Just shy of 10 pounds, but I will take these any day of the week. They're so beautiful. Those fins are just melting off. Too cool. Well, it certainly hasn't been a day for the biggest of carp, but we have surely had some characters this evening. First, the fantail, and before I could even get the rod back out, this lovely low double two-tone. Very cool.
Well, I think the carp gods heard the sound of my kettle chattering away. Was right as I was pouring a mug, my left hand rod rattled off. And this is the result. 17 and a half pounds. That seemed to be the going number for today. Always welcome. Very clean, very healthy looking fish. So let's slip this one back before my tea gets cold. And we'll see what else the night has in store for us. Well, I've been packing away and the last rod that I had out just ripped off. And this is the result. This is the fish we were looking for, 22 pounds. What a great way to end the session.